looks like the sheep have been having a party here I see chew through my, another one of my cables ah and a menace I don't expect to be much on here apart from sheep there we go <laughs> first one yeah, sheep, sheep. Ah. Yeah, it's just all sheep. <laughs> okay, well that's that's decided it for me. I think I'm going to have to move this setup. I've been, I've been thinking of moving it. It's it's been here for six weeks. And uh, I think this has just decided it now. Never mind. Oh, there's another cable gone. Hi, welcome back to another video. I uh, hope you're keeping well. It's been quite a while since I last put a video out. It must be a good few months now. Um, I've been really busy with work and I just haven't had the time to to commit, you know, to any any long time long term projects with the camera trap first of all I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you who subscribed um, since I put my last video out uh, I've now surpassed the dizzy heights of 500 subscribers um, uh, so a big thank you to all of you who have subscribed I, I really appreciate it and it inspires me to to carry on trying to bring you some content to see um, so a big thank you it, it, it's like i said it's very much appreciated i've been out after the foxes and the badgers again um i've had this set up here for about six weeks now um it, it's been a bit slow i have to say these last few months it's been really slow um there's been not there's been very little activity going on um having said that i've i've had about three badger shots of the badgers which which I'm happy with one especially which um, I'll put up for you now the one thing I have been plagued with on this um, project is the amount of squirrels and sheep I've had around the place. Uh, I've, I've had hundreds and hundreds of um, sheep and squirrel pictures. The squirrels are just uh, non-stop. I've set my um, my PIR sensor to come on round about dusk and to go off around about dawn to try and eliminate as much of the squirrel activity as I can. But even so, I've had them, as you can see in these pictures, I've had them hanging around showing off their wares to the local females um, I've had them chasing each other round round and round the place and I, I've even managed to capture a photo of them trying to in the process of making even more squirrels so um, they, they have been a real pest around here I'm afraid but uh, that's the way it is you just got to take it and uh, as for the sheep they've been up to their tricks again um, I've had a, I've had the camera trap hardwired to my PIR sensor on a short piece of cable, and once again they've been along and they've, they've cut it in half for me again. <laughs> so I think any any future um, camera trap setups I have in this area, just, just for the time being while the sheep are around, um, I think I'm going to have to go wireless. So I'll, I'll fix up a, a wireless receiver onto the camera and uh, just try and keep the, the wiring down to a minimum um, I've had this as a two light setup I've got my camera facing in this I was here uh, I think it was back end of last year or it may, may even have been the year before time time goes by so quick um, and it was here for a good few weeks and I only managed one photograph uh, which wasn't it wasn't as good as I was hoping really but uh, I thought I'd just give it another go 
and uh, I've managed a few this time uh, I've got three nice pictures but in the first couple of weeks it was out uh, like I say it's been here six weeks and I've had nothing really in the last three weeks or more um, I've been at it as a two light setup I've got a flash just above you there um, pointing at a front light uh, on about I think it's just slightly less than one eighth power and I've got one behind behind as a backlight on I think that's on about one sixteenth power somewhere around there um, I've had the camera trap set up uh, the camera set up uh, set up ISO 800 um, uh, shutter speed about 200 and I've been at around about aperture around about f8 but uh, I've turned the ISO up a little bit as I've mentioned in previous videos um, modern cameras today they can handle you know good high ISOs and by using higher ISOs you can dial down the power of your flash um, which gives you a couple of benefits um, it saves your battery power but more importantly of all it, it, it doesn't stress your subjects out so much that little blip that little blip of flash doesn't seem to uh, uh, disturb them as much as you know like a big a big nuclear blast of flash which uh, it's really not fair on them to do that so uh, nowadays I crank my ISI yeah I crank my ISO up a little bit higher and reduce my flash power and uh, it is just a win-win and even if I have to go up to uh, 1600 ISO or even above the software we got today <laughs> editing software is is just so good at, at reducing noise um, it really isn't an issue anymore I was considering uh, packing this down from here taking it down from here and moving it um, just to 20 30 yards away um, to in a new spot but um, we've got the second named storm of the season coming in over the next few days uh, and it, it's set to be pretty bad I think it's a little awful lot of rain forecast for this part of the country so um, I think I, I'm going to take it all down and get it all cleaned up I think and get it ready for next week and after the storm's gone I'll, I'll get it set up again um, subjects are a little bit hard to come by at the moment but everything's starting to turn now we're at the end of summer coming into early autumn and all the leaves are starting to turn so um, hopefully we'll we'll get a nice a nice setup prep for the foxes um, with a bit of autumnal colour in the background which which would be nice so that's it from this setup as always if you have any questions regarding camera trapping or if there's any particular subjects you'd like me to go into in a bit more detail maybe in a in a future video please let me know in the comments uh, and i'll do my best to help you i'll leave you with my three best images from this setup and Hope to see you again sometime soon. Thanks for watching.